coins. Do you know what these are? That's right, they are coins. Coins are a part of the money that we use to pay for goods or services. And today, we are going to learn more about them. Before we get into that, have you ever heard of the phrase dollars and cents? Well, coins are the cents part of this phrase. This is the symbol for cents. Whenever you see this symbol, you can remember that the money you are using is cents or coins. Let's talk about the value or worth of each coin plus some fun facts. Starting with our coppery friend, the penny. The penny is equal to one cent. And 100 pennies or cents equals one dollar. Pennies are usually used to make change at a store. President Abraham Lincoln is featured on the front of the penny. As for the back, well, here is a fun fact. Before 2010, the back of a penny had the Lincoln Memorial on it. But now, the back of a penny shows what is called the Union Shield. Either way, their coppery color makes them unique, even if they aren't worth a lot on their own. Next up is the nickel. The nickel is worth five cents. That means that 20 nickels equals one dollar. A long time ago, you used to be able to buy a candy bar for a nickel. Can you even imagine? President Thomas Jefferson is on the front of the nickel. Before 2006, President Jefferson was shown in profile, but now you can see his whole face. Jefferson's home, Monticello, is shown on the back. Can you guess what the smallest sized U.S. coin is? If you said dime, you are correct. A dime is equal to 10 cents. So how many dimes does it take to make one dollar? Yep, it's 10. The person on the front of the dime is President Franklin D. Roosevelt. And the back or tail of the dime shows a torch with an olive branch to the left and an oak branch to the right. Want to know an interesting fact? The torch represents liberty, and the olive branch stands for peace. And the oak branch means strength and independence. Pretty cool. Quarters are used much more often than other coins. They are worth 25 cents. So it only takes four quarters to equal a dollar. You have probably used quarters for vending machines, at the laundromat, or even washing a car. You might also collect quarters because there are many different kinds. Some feature states or territories on the back. Others feature a bald eagle, but all have President George Washington on the front. There are also two other coins, which are also used, but not quite as often. The half dollar coin and the one dollar coin. As you might suspect, two half dollar coins is equal to one dollar and one one dollar coin is equal to one dollar. Half dollars have President John F. Kennedy on the front and a bald eagle on the back, while dollar coins feature either Sacagawea the Explorer or the Presidents of the United States on the front and a bald eagle on the back. You can get both of these types of coins at the bank. Wow, we have learned a lot about coins today. Let's review to see what you remember. True or false, pennies? are worth the most out of all coins. If you said false, you're correct. Fill in the blank. The blank is the smallest coin in size. The smallest coin in size is the dime. How many quarters are equal to one dollar? That's right, four. Great job, coin collectors. Coins make the sense out of our money and are also a fun way to practice math facts. Maybe one day you will become a coin collector or create a new design for the back of a coin for all to see. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.